So going multi-platform is exciting for us. Ted Price, president and CEO of Insomniac Games, is moving beyond the PlayStation as Insomniac looks for new challenges in development and gaming. We've been on one platform for a long time, and I think the most exciting aspect is that we get to reach a new set of consumers. I mean, we're certainly very uh, happy and loyal to the Sony crowd. However, there are a lot of folks who have Xbox 360s that we'd love to share with. Insomniac's expansion will be a definite plus for the industry, but it's Ted's high-profile PlayStation 3 franchises that have gamers in an uproar for 2011. We're working on a bunch of different games. Uh, the two that we're releasing this year are Resistance 3 and Ratchet and Clank All for One. Both those games are going to offer something different for each of the franchises. Yeah, or anyone else. As for the state of Insomniac's business model, Ted's theory is clear. If it's not broken, don't try to fix it. Well, over 17 years, we haven't changed much in terms of our corporate culture. We're all about collaboration, communication, and we're all about making great games. And as a result, everybody feels like they're on the same team. It's time to go back to the way things were, you know? Known as traditional console developers, both TED and Insomniac Games are keeping their eyes open to the future of gaming in the social space. We have a really active community team. We have a feed on Twitter, we have Facebook page, we are constantly going out and looking for new ways to reach our audience and generally it's through the social space. We make console games, however, we're very aware of what's going on in the social space and if we, we need to be because that's where more and more gamers are focusing their attention. And while Ted may be sticking to his core values in game development, he's not opposed to checking out new innovations in gaming. I think there's place for peripherals in most games, and as, as many are proving now, uh, whether it's Move or Connect, as long as you think about how the core mechanics can support those peripherals, you can do great things with your games. So we're always looking at those devices, evaluating them, figuring out where they'll work in our game and make the experience even better.